Hello, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to review this, the new Canon 800D. Those of you that have been following me for a while will know that I do like to do the odd gear review and that's what this is gonna to be today. It's not going to be a review where we delve into settings or features of the new camera. I like to get out into the real world and really put a camera through its paces. And that's what I'm gonna to do today from a landscape photography point of view. Photography can get very expensive, can't it? And the 5D Mark IV is a hugely expensive camera, over 3,000 pounds, but this is much more reasonable and something much more likely that people just getting into photography or even amateurs will start to buy and you can still get really good pictures from a camera like this or at least that's what I'm going to test out today. So I'm here in the Lake District in Crummock Water and I'm going to start the day like many of my vlogs with a little time lapse. One of the things this has built in is a movie time lapse mode so we're going to put that through its paces. Come with me and we'll test out this camera. Let's go. Now, one of the reasons that I've upgraded to this camera from the old 700D was for the video features. This camera has what the Canon 5D Mark IV has, and that's the dual pixel autofocus for video, and Canon absolutely nail that technology, and it makes shooting video on a DSLR so easy. So really, I think this is going to be just the perfect vlogging camera. There's gonna be no more of those shots, especially walking ones like this, where my face goes slightly out of focus because it gets distracted by something in the background, so it should be much, improved on this camera. It is still lacking in 4K, which is a bit of a shame. This really would be the perfect vlogging camera if it had that, but Canon have still decided to keep that off this model. Today for the video though, everything you see, if the camera itself is not actually in the shot, will be shot on the 800D, so you can really get an idea of what the video footage looks like. Right, one of the shots I wanted to capture today was a macro shot. I don't do that much macro photography out and about, but when I do, I want to know that the camera I am using can cope with that. So I want to test that out with the 800D to make sure it can do this. Now I found this really pretty purple thistle plant. I don't know what it's called, but it's covered in spikes and I don't want to touch it to stop it blowing around in the wind. So I'm just going to compose my shot on this little bud that's in front of me here and hope that the autofocus system of this camera will be able to handle the changes in the focus field as it moves and blows about in the wind. The focus speed does also depend a little bit on this lens. I have the Canon L macro 100 millimeter lens on here. Settings wise, I am at one 200th of a second because I don't want to see any of that motion in the flower. I'm at F5 just to sort of extend the depth of field a little bit because if I go any less than that, it will just be too blown out in my shot. And then I'm at ISO 400 to balance out that exposure. There's then some of these ferns and they're going to act as a nice green background to my shot. This camera has 46 autofocus points, I think. So it should do a pretty good job here. Let's give it a try. It is blown about quite a lot. So I'm just gonna try and compose the shot, get some of that nice green into the background. I'm in AI focus mode. So it moves, it tracks it, but then it does lock on as well. And it's at the point that it beats that I'm gonna shoot. So let's have a look at that. And that's looking really good. One thing you should expect when shooting in Britain in July or any time of year, and particularly when you come to the Lake District, 
is some bad weather. It's quite changeable. It's fairly dull conditions, even though it was forecast to be nice. And it's probably only a matter of time before the 800D here gets its first test of getting a little bit wet. The 700D that I had before this one was pretty good. It got pretty wet on several occasions and still survived. It died once when I dropped it in the mud, but we'll see probably today how the 800D does. So I'm at the top and I've not said this for a while, but I've got those 360 degree views all the way around and trying not to fall off the mountain. It is absolutely stunning. However, the weather is not quite playing ball as I would like it to. I was planning to get this sort of composition here for the sunset, but it's just not working out with the weather. So I'm not gonna risk it and hang around until sunset time, but I am gonna put this Canon 800D to good use now and capture a nice landscape shot. Okay, so I'm set up for a shot. I've got the Canon 800D down here on the tripod. I've got a nice composition, as you can see behind me, and I'm using the rocks to either side of the foreground just to lead you in to that lake and those beautiful mountains in the background there. I've got the two lakes in there, so it's quite an interesting shot. I've got the circular polarizer on the front to take some of that sheen off the water. Now, what I'm looking for in when I'm testing a new camera is particularly sharpness in the corners of the frame. That is quite dependent on the lens though. And at the moment, I've got the 10 to 18 millimeter lens on there because I want to show that you can get great landscape photographs even with a really good value camera. So all in all, the camera's about 750 pounds and that lens you can get secondhand for about 100 pounds. So you're well under 900 pounds here for this full setup and you can get some really good landscape images. I'm gonna be using the two second timer on the camera and I'm bracketing this shot at the moment. I'm at F16 to get these rocks in the foreground in focus and then the shutter speed is at about one tenth of a second. I saw at 100 because I want to really see what this camera can do. So classic mountain weather. I've got my shots in the bag. I've done a time lapse. And while that's all been happening, the weather has turned absolutely beautiful. I'm back on the set 800D, 700D, 800D here. And then I am going to climb down from the mountain, get back down to the lake and capture the final shot of the day. Absolutely glorious though. <laughs> Okay, so I'm set up for the last shot of the day. I've got the camera on the tripod, the Canon 800D with that 10 to 18 millimeter lens on. I'm using this big rock in the foreground here and that's just sending you into the lake and then into the mountains in the background. It really isn't a complicated shot. It's not going to be the best shot in the world either. The light has dropped again, the cloud cover has come in and all the interesting light has yet again disappeared. I'm bracketing the shot just to be sure, but I'm at F16 just to get the exposure as long as possible. Uh, and I'm gonna just smooth out that water a tiny bit. I've got the circular polarizer on the front and that's just creating some slight bit of interest in the foreground because you can see 
underneath the water and it kind of has a coppery feel to it which is quite nice i've had a really really good day shooting with this camera it is absolutely brilliant that autofocus particularly for video is a game changer i think a camera at this price point these the alternatives from nikon are things like the d 5600 but the video standard just is not what this camera is offering it is a shame that it doesn't offer 4k otherwise it would have been an absolute winner with pretty much no comparison but as it is it does 1080 it does it at 50 frames a second so you can get that nice bit of slow motion as well but on the whole i think it's a really good camera that's going to be very useful for many people it's going to be useful for me as i use it as my vlogging camera from now on but for the enthusiast even a slightly sort of more experienced photographer may get some real use out of this camera at particular times when you want something just a bit lighter than your main body it's got the option of the interchangeable lenses which really is going to help when you want a bit of versatility and you want to progress and increase the quality of your glass just an all-round excellent camera and i'm looking forward to using it more from that 24 megapixel sensor i'm expecting good things you've got a setup there like i said earlier with that costs less than 900 pounds and some of the images that you can capture i think are going to be very much well worth the money when you consider the amount of money that some photographers including me spend on photography gear i hope you have enjoyed the video i have had a great day yet again in the lake district if you're new to the channel please do subscribe because there's more videos like this there's more vlogs where i get out and about and show you and document my shooting of landscape photography you can pick up some tips tricks things like that and just see how I go about capturing my work. If you are already subscribed, please do click the bell on the subscribe button to make sure that you're notified as soon as my videos comes out because I don't want you to miss a thing. I'll see you on another video very soon. I'm Adam, this is First Man Photography in the Lake District, out. Walking by yourself. <laughs>